Hi, my name is Tyrus, and I'm going to tell you a bit about Blaze. Let's hop into a REPL and check it out. Blaze is a scripting language that makes parallelism easy. So let's construct a list and turn it into a parallel list with the forward slashes operator. Anything done to this parallel list will be done in parallel to the elements of the list. Hi, I'm Anshu. I'm going to demonstrate some of Blaze's more advanced features. First, let's see how synchronization works in Blaze. Consider this program. It creates an empty list and defines a function that adds a value to the end of the list. It then adds 100 elements to the list in parallel. It's definitely not thread safe, and we would expect this to result in multiple threads trying to modify the list at the same time. Let's see what happens when we run this program. Blaze was nice enough to tell us that our program has a synchronization error and even highlighted the problem line in the stack trace. Let's fix this problem with a width statement. The width keyword tells Blaze that we want ac exclusive access to something. That something can be anything, such as a primitive value or a function. In this width block, we can be sure that no one else has access to the list and no one else can modify it. Let's see if this simple change fixes our problem. As you can see, all 100 values were added to the list. Now I'm going to show you another major feature we added to Blaze, reactive programming. You can create a new channel object by simply instantiating a channel like so. You can then listen on the channel using a when statement. The code in the when block runs whenever values are sent along the channel. Now we can just push values down the channel using the push operator. Let's see what happens when we run this code. As we would expect, the channel receives the values serially and prints them out. If we wanted the channel to behave concurrently, it's as simple as a two character change. Let's see what happens when we run this. As you can see, the channel now prints the values in parallel. We could even parallelize the channel at the start if we wanted. Let's see what we can do when we put all of this together. This program imports Blaze's networking package and uses it to run a simple socket server that echoes what it receives. The networking package uses Blaze's Java interoperability to directly instantiate Java's server socket class and translate the resulting object into a Blaze object, our program that makes a channel to handle the incoming con connections. When it receives a connection, it loops reading in messages from the client and echoing them back. It then runs the server on port 1234 and loops waiting for connections. Let's try it out. As you can see, it works pretty well when a single client connects. However, when I connect a second client, I don't get a response. This is because the server is looping on the main thread, handling the first client. In other languages, to fix this would involve reworking the client handler code to handle each client in a separate thread and manage the thread pool. However, in Blaze, it's as simple as a two-character change. By parallelizing the channel, Blaze's scheduler will run each handler asynchronously off of the main thread. Let's see what happens now. And just like that, our server can now handle multiple clients. 